With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hi everyone, so we are given with a question which says we need to state the principle of superposition of waves. Alright, so about superposition principle we can write its statement can be written as when two waves reach at a point simultaneously the net displacement produced at that point is A vector sum of the displacements produced by individual. waves all right so this is what the statement uh, speaks about so we can see when two waves reach at a point simultaneously the net displacement produced at that point is a vector sum of the displacement produced by individual waves so its mathematical form can be written as net displacement that is y net will be equals to y1 bar plus y2 bar plus y3 bar and so on Alright, so here we have taken for two waves only, so it can be multiple waves as well. So, uh, from here we can say, uh, if we take the example for two waves as uh, we have stated in the uh, statement above, so we can write y net will be equals to displacement of first wave plus displacement of second wave. Alright, so this can be uh, understood with the help of a diagram below. So, we can see from here we can clearly say. This is what the all right. So here we can uh, see the diagrams over here. So we can see uh, this is the case first case. This is the second case. So we can uh, discuss it uh, long side only. So here we can clearly see when two waves. Let's say this is positive, positive, negative. This is positive, positive, and negative. So here, when two waves arrives at a point, uh, at some point, these two waves arrive. So uh, this wave is having having a displacement of particle that is y1, and this is having a displacement of particle y2. So from here, if they uh, superimpose or uh, means reach at a point simultaneously, so that point will have a total displacement of this. That is, this is y net over here. So this is what the displacement uh, looks like. So this type of uh, in, uh, superposition is known as constructive superposition because uh, we have the amplitude which we can see over here y1, y2. It was small and the resultant amplitude which we are getting is greater or uh, larger in size compared to individual displacement. And similarly, this is also the case possible when two waves uh, reach at a point simultaneously. Uh, which are in opposite phase so we can say plus and minus will collapse plus and minus again will collapse so displacement y1 and y2 will collapse and the net displacement which we will get is zero in this case all right because uh, opposite pulses are uh, superimposing together so we can say they will cancel out each other uh, this is when when we are considering y1 is equals to y2 all right so uh, this case uh, this comes out to be zero when we have considered y1 to be as equals to y2 and both are in the opposite direction so uh, this is what the superposition principle is so i hope you have understood the concept and thank you for watching for class 6 to 12 itg and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today